So today, out of nowhere, Apple just unveiled the next generation of the Apple Vision Pro, called the Apple Vision Pro. With a better chipset inside, a faster screen, and a more comfortable strap. Hey there here, so welcome to the VRTech channel, so let's discover the new Apple Vision Pro 2025 together in this video. Let's see what's changed, what's new, and if it's actually worth it compared to the older version. So well, let's get into it. All right, so let's get to it right away. It doesn't feel like a new generation, a newer version, but they're really just a refresh with the new chipset inside to actually drive better the software because the Apple Vision Pro was never this snappy guy. The software always felt a bit clunky and while it might be understandable for some because it's more focused toward developers, uh, it's actually something they're also selling at a premium price to regular people. So it never felt like a, this complete Apple experience experience, let's say. Beautiful, but always with little bugs and problems that, to be honest, got even worse with Vision OS 26. So what's the way to solve this and what's the big difference with this new device is actually the new processor that is going to be the M5 chipset. It was just unveiled today for the entire lineup of MacBook, iPads and, of course, the Apple Vision Pro. While they don't go into specifics, as always, when it comes to benchmarks, they say that it's going to be able to render 10% more of the pixels of the screen. And this happens because the Apple Vision Pro actually renders just what you're looking at at the higher resolution than the rest. So probably they are able to actually super sample by the 10% or making the area that you're looking at at the higher resolution a bit larger to avoid discomfort on the peripheral view. Needed, no sure is the resolution of the screen will be exactly the same of the one that we have on the original version, but with a better processor, everything should feel smoother playing around in the software, open applications and stuff like that. They actually consider a giant leap in cheap performance. And while the resolution of the screen didn't change though, this screen is actually faster as now it can reach up to 120 Hertz. And this is actually a very nice addition. Uh, there's not many applications actually that might be able to use it on the Apple Vision Pro as we use more kind of mixed reality applications. But uh, what's pretty cool is that as we saw in my previous videos on the channel about it, we can stream with uh, third party applications applications, uh, well, our PC for PC VR gaming, for example, on the Apple Vision Pro. And uh, un having 120 Hz support is pretty nice for motion sickness. At the same time, if you are actually streaming via Steam Link games uh, from Steam Flat Games and you like higher refresh rate, well, that's another good option to have. I mean, the quality of these micro OLED displays was already amazing. So if they made it better, faster, it's just a great addition. For me that I mostly use in this period, the Apple Vision Pro for PC VR, uh, and Elite Dangerous and mods and something uh, with ALVR. Well, it sounds like a good upgrade. Also another thing to expect, another thing that the M5 chipset brought with it is actually better battery life. We're not talking about a revolution, but we're talking about three hours of playback time uh, for videos instead of the 2.5, two and a half that we had before. So yeah, maybe now you can watch Titanic almost till the end. <laughs> but yeah, the big change in the early design change that you might probably have seen uh, from all the videos on this video uh, is actually the fact that now we have a new strap. It's called the dual knit strap. Uh, it's based of course on a knit strap that we had on the original version and became pretty much the icon of this headset. The problem though is that the headset was very and is still very heavy and you needed something to actually balance the weight better on the top. That's why everyone was selling top straps for the Apple Vision Pro and many people modded it with different straps. So yeah, Apple probably was on Reddit, saw the dual knit straps that, that, that were everywhere and decided to make one directly for the Apple Vision Pro. This one, by the way, will be compatible with the original version of the Apple Vision Pro and you can buy it for $99 in store if you want. And there's a very curious way to actually set it up on top of you because uh, you have a single dial, but you can push out the dial to change the tightness of the top strap or of the back strap. To be honest, I do think that the original knit strap looked better design-wise, uh, but 
when you wear it, design is not really that important. Comfort is more important. So I'm glad that they took something in that direction and you can still buy the original strap if you want to. I just will not recommend it. But yeah, this is the new Apple Vision Pro uh, from year 2025 with the same name, just to don't confuse anybody. So, and it will start selling at $3,499 uh, in the US from October 22nd. That is going to be for the 256 gigabyte version, and then they're going to have available also a 512 gigabyte and a one terabyte version. They're also going to start selling under store, by the way, uh, the PSVR 2 controllers that now are supported directly on the Apple Vision Pro. And those are going to be $249.95, including the controller charging station. So yeah, not too bad, I guess. And those are gonna be available from November 11th. And would I recommend actually upgrading from the original version? So far, I would not see a real reason uh, if the screen is still the same. Everything looks the same as well. If you are about comfort, you can just buy uh, the new strap and that will solve it. Or if you solved it already, modding, I will not be a big issue as well. But the reality is that we don't have yet applications that will use completely the M5 chipset and they didn't even unveil any, they wouldn't need it. So the M2 seems still enough. But yeah, if that's AI, what's important for you since like the M5 is gonna be two times as fast compared to the M2, so that is it. So that's your gain, I guess. On the positive news, probably many will buy it, so the original Apple Vision Pro will go down in price and you're gonna be able to buy it on the used market uh, for much less. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, it's still too expensive. Do you still feel like Apple is really investing in this or is like just doing a refresh? just because. Are you gonna grab it? Is there something that excites you about particularly? For me is all, I wanted to update you guys on the matter because it's a new headset launch at the end of the day. So yeah, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like this, is like. Subscribe to the channel more on VR Tech. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.